Well, guys, I got some tools riding up front with me now. Uh, went out and bought a truck. My van was, I don't know, dying, we'll say. I'm going to get it fixed, I think, but I had to have something in the meantime. And I was searching around for the perfect truck, and I came up with the most perfect truck I could find, which I'll show you all a little bit of that later. But I'm at a call now, waiting to get on top of the building. But unfortunately, I don't have a ladder, so I'm going to borrow one from my brother. My not carrying an extension ladder has bit me in the ass. So, but I haven't had racks installed on this car yet. So, we're waiting on that. Then we'll go up on the roof and see what's going on with this AC that won't cool. Well, there she is. It's the Amana package unit, heat pump package unit. The line was starting to freeze up immediately. I went into the blower compartment, the blower was off. What I'm doing is now I spun the blower and it took off, so it indicates the capacitor is bad. We'll check the capacitor and replace it if necessary. Check the charge, because the charge might not be too good either. We'll see. Here we are on the edge of the building over here, and you can see the history of this unit. Suction line dryer, run capacitor, a breaker, super boost, a couple run capacitors. It is just hilarious. Kind of funny. Yeah. These are not large items. I mean, you could toss these over to the side pretty easy. Hey, look, there's even a, a little relay. Hmm. We got a dual shaft blower motor, two blower wheels. Both of them look extremely disgusting, off centered. But horrible, horrible. But can't fix everything in one day. But I can get it going and let them know what needs to happen, which is, you know, a wrecking ball. There's our capacitor, 5 microfarad, 370. Our twin blowers, these things look horrible. Blower wheels look horrible. The motor is a substitute motor, it's not the original. The wire burned off going to the capacitor. The other blower wheel looks horrible too. Everything in this thing looks bad. So here's my game plan. I get the unit running with the capacitor. Obviously it'll, it'll cool with the capacitor. And then I have to go back to these people because this is commercial and tell them all the work that needs to be done to this thing. Not counting all the electrical work. See this old electrical panel? Well, there's signs where there's been melting, damaged wires. This thing is just not in good shape. Not in good shape at all. Take a look at the other side. Got the Z-manifold on there. Our suction dryer. So I guess our compressor had a burnout at one point. I see another suction dryer over there. I don't know if we have an old PT. Oh, I think that's a hard start or a PTC or something that's just just lingering in the cabinet. That's our run capacitor there. The terminal strip is off the compressor, exposing all the wiring. You see on the other side, it looks like there's been a burnout over there of a different kind. <laughs> so she looks rough. She looks like a sorry bitch that needs to go put out to pasture. But because it's commercial, I'm sure the request will be make it run. And I'll tell them what it's going to take. Guys, what I'm looking at is inside of the chamber where the compressor is located. It's our suction dryer and outdoor fan motor. We can look down in there. Oh, it's very difficult to see. But the coil is just falling apart. You can kind of see it right there. So this thing is not in good shape. Uh, when the coil is deteriorated like that, typically there's not much we can do about it. Uh, even cleaning the coil could damage it. And it's definitely dirty. If you can look in some of the upper reaches, it's hard to see. But it's definitely dirty. Um, I would like to clean it, but likely the only thing it would take is water. And water would still knock plenty of those fins loose. We have our compressor there. There we are. But it's hard to say. There's a lot of questionable work taking place here. There's our reversing valve. There's our leads to it. Hey, great. Works great, I bet. I don't know. But it doesn't work great when the wires don't go anywhere. So. The crankcase heater wires are disconnected. The box had to put the top back on there. There's just random wires laying everywhere. It's just, but I really love the melted cabinet over there. That's, that's my favorite part. So this instrument of death here, that it's gonna be cooling for a little bit longer. I'm gonna go meet with people right now, talk to them about this thing. But. There we are, up on the roof. The roof looks just as good as the unit. 
that's all for this one. It's operational now. It's cooling for the meantime. So we'll move forward however they see fit. Bitch. She's not 